welcome to the Learning is Change list, the web series where I get to tackle all the things that I would like to learn how to change in education, the community of reflective practice vloggers, in order to create an engine for authentic learning. So after getting really excited about the Fellowship of the Ning, I started looking around YouTube for other collaborative channels, other channels where a group of people would come together and they would all pick one day or have different days in succession where they were all making videos and putting them up and being in conversation with one another. And there are a lot of communities that have done this, but I started thinking about the fact that the majority of these communities and the majority of these channels had a particular time-bounded experiment. So they lasted for a year or two years, but most of them were really not that long. You know, they, they really had this sort of moment. And I really like that concept that we can have these collaborations and that they can be time-bounded and that they don't have to persist and go on forever, but that they remain as artifacts. And each one of these channels that I found, most of them had sort of this goodbye moment where they would all sort of take the time to say goodbye, each one of the members, and they would say, you know, this is what we're doing this is where you can find us, but I'm going to leave this artifact up and you can watch these hundreds of videos, sometimes thousands of videos, um, and you can see what our conversations were about. And I really like that idea that it's almost this time capsule of a community. And there aren't that many communities that can actually do that, where most communities, if they exist for a particular amount of time, then they go away and sort of it's archived out into the ether. Um, there is no way to actually chronicle and to track what is going on throughout that time-bounded experiment. So I wanted to think about this idea and I wanted to think about how this time-bounded nature could work for a learning space because most learning spaces are actually time-bounded. Whether we're with students for one year or two years if you're looping with them or you're part of a degree program that lasts for a particular amount of time, it is time-bounded but there isn't this sense that I can go back and see the conversations that existed there. I can go back and see the community in a time capsule. And I want to think about how do we make a time capsule of our learning? How do we create that community archive that then is searchable is the conversation continues, right? On each one of these videos, there are some that are, you know, three, four, five years old, and they still get comments. They still are fresh, and they still have a community around them. And a lot of the people that made the videos are still responding to them. It's not like they went away, it's just that they weren't engaged in that particular project anymore. How is it that we can make time-bounded learning? If we create these communities online, if we create this space where I can actually see a timeline for the things that we are doing, then we can probably approximate what that time capsule of learning might look like. If you have ideas about how to create a time capsule of learning or a time capsule for a particular learning experience and time bounding a community, please do so in the comments, subscribe on YouTube, or join us in the Google Plus community for reflective practice vlogging. Thank you so much for watching.